We're so deep into the digital era today that it's impossible to live your life effectively and free from as many distractions as possible without a productivity system. We're constantly bombarded with ads begging for our money, social media begging for our attention, and most of these things rely on us not being organized enough to keep them in their place. In today's video, I'm gonna share modern ideas which are significantly altering my mindset and how I think about productivity and everything else in life. And I hope they can do the same for you. When I was entering my 20s, I was far more ambitious than my skills could keep up with. But eight really difficult years deadened my optimism and ambition for a while. I fell behind in life and I became so depressed that I remember almost nothing from an entire six year period of my life. Finally, I took some steps to get out of the situations which were holding me hostage and I'm back in almost the same place today. I truly say this with regret for the past, but also with hope for the future. One of the biggest things that I feel kept me from reaching my potential in the younger years of adulthood and directly kept me off the path I wanted to take is that I didn't devise a system to keep myself on track. Without an approach to life, I couldn't keep up, let alone be productive and output value into the world. An example of this is that I'm more intense about keeping my email account clean than a lot of people I know. But sorting information is really different from using that information. And there are a lot of modern methods of organization that I had no clue what to do with. I didn't even know they existed. I'm relatively proficient and informed with tech things, but I bounced around between apps and resources. I didn't see how to use them fully or use them in conjunction with other things to make the most of my mind. Um, I think a strength of mine is in processing information, summarizing, rewording, and analyzing how to implement it into what I'm doing, but I lack the journaling skill and recall ability to use the information that I learned properly. Building all these skills starts with the same point. It's dangerous to go alone. The thing that I was doing wrong at the most bare bones level is thinking that I had to do it myself. This is a weakness of mine all the time. I hate asking for help. But the truth is that even outside of the context of productivity systems and things, when it comes to any aspect of life, it's unwise to try to figure it out from scratch. I'm sure a lot of people are like me where we will climb the stairs from the bottom and ignore the elevator right next to us, which can get us past the first few floors if we just push the button that asks for help. So the first idea is to find someone who thinks the way you do or the way you want to and model your system from theirs, then adapt it as you get proficient. Even organizing your life is a skill and one that we aren't really taught to the extent that we need. But that just means we have to seek it out. Humanity stands on the shoulders of giants. We shouldn't ignore the wisdom of other people and the people that have come before us and try to reinvent the wheel in each of our lives. Number two, workflow isn't just for the workplace. When your mind is on your workflow, the things you have to do seem to take care of themselves. All life is work, at least to some degree, and that's why I'm a big advocate for intentionally controlling your work-life balance. I don't agree with the old adage that if you enjoy what you do, you don't work a day in your life. I think that's kind of nonsense. Instead, I believe that all things worth doing require work, and you can't work on your goals if you're completely burned out from your job. That's a thought to expand on another time, but the point is that your home life requires work too. And the more effectively you can do that work, the sooner you'll reach your goals and the more fulfilling your life can be and the more time you can spend on what you want. From what I've observed, the key difference between underachieving and meeting your potential is having a system in your life which creates a workflow for everything you do. If you're feeling stuck in a rut like I've been for far too many years, a workflow is what will help you get to a more fulfilling life where you can achieve your goals. Number three, stop remembering, start doing. Your mind is for having ideas, not holding them. This quote from David Allen may lack a bit of nuance, but it reflects wonderfully in the digital age. We have the tools and utilities to take very basic functions and small amounts of effort off our own plate, and the availability of virtually unlimited information storage to track our thoughts and the things we learn and the resources we need. So why don't we use these tools to operate at the higher level we want to achieve? Productivity expert Tiago Forte promotes an idea which he calls building a second brain. It's a big buzzword in the productivity discussion these days, and for good reason. Very simply, the concept is that you should have enough of a system in place that you don't have to do basic things, like remembering every little task or everything you've learned, and you should be logging and archiving your thoughts and information that resonates with you as you discover it. In order to have the capacity and time to work on all your goals, you can use these systems to plan your life, track your finances, utilize every minute, and dedicate the majority of your mental energy to accomplishing the things that are important to you instead of focusing on reinventing the wheel and doing the minutia all over again. Let the system be your, your basic brain. 
learn more, fill it with knowledge, and come back later to organize and reference that knowledge and achieve great things. This also comes back to workflow because you need a pattern for how you add information to the second brain based on how much time you have or how substantial the information is, how you organize it, and similar things. But there's a popular structure based on what could be called the holy trinity of productivity. A to-do app, a rich note-taking and journaling app, and a good calendar app. You can find more on the basics of a good system in the video I'll link here from Ali Abdal. Number four, filtering. It's a concept promoted by David Allen and Tiago Forte again, which is to organize information by where you'll use it, not by where you found it. Yes, that means that cluttered downloads folder should always be empty. An important note to go along with this is having a consistent way that you name and sort your files. I'll link another video which took the system that I was using before, and it kind of expands on it and, and improves it. There's a second part that goes along with this, which is condensing the information that you archive to the most important points, but that would make this video run a little bit long, and it's already long enough. So I'll sit on it and maybe re revisit it later. But going back to Tiago Forte's book, Building a Second Brain, it has a lot of fantastic insight into this. Just go read it if you don't want to wait for me to talk about it. And number five, invest your time. This one's a long time adage, but time is a resource more precious than money or items. It took me a long time to realize that I need to take this seriously, but it's true. And it's really not hard to do on a small scale. It's about taking those small moments of time, whether you're between tasks or waiting for something and not wasting them. It's about dedicating just a small piece of your day toward maintaining your life and your system. Run through your budget and make sure you're on track clear through those last minute promotional emails that you've been neglected to unsubscribe from. Take a half hour and plan out your personal time for the next week and utilize those minutes. Like a wise accountant once said, many small time make big time. Once you've mastered that, it'll be no effort to sit down for a few more minutes and piece together the things that you're working on or contemplate and reference the things that you've learned because you'll have it constantly organized and placed where you'll use it. And as you add information throughout your days, archiving and reusing information, you'll probably reach a point in the long term where most of the work you do is already done. You'll reuse templates and resources to put together information in new and novel ways for the projects that you're working on, interspersed with what you continue to learn. These are some core concepts that have really resonated with me the past few months. I've been making this system myself and a couple weeks in. The crazy thing is that it's been yielding instant results for me, and it can for you too. None of this information is new and it's all out there in probably more valuable forms than I can put it into. But I wanted to take a moment and encourage anyone who comes across this video to take a bit of time, get inspired, and put something in motion that will get you onto that elevator and get you where you want to go. If you enjoyed this video, of course, you can do the kind thing and like and subscribe, and I'll put a link to another one that you might like on the screen. Thanks for watching.